Hello, my name is Dave Pasquale. I'm the owner of Pasquale Aviation. And today we're gonna to talk about rigging the main gear drag strut. Um, I have here, you can see, there's a string looped around the forward drag strut bolt. And you run the string back here to the rear drag strut bolt. And the adjustment we're measuring is the over center. So if you look at the drag strut, you can see this bolt right here is lower than our string that stretch from up here to here. Uh, the manual calls for a 5 16th inch over center. That means that it's passed in line with the string by 5 16 of an inch. This bolt here, if you, you can fit a half inch wrench on it. So if you're looking at the bolt, if you measure from the center of the bolt to the edge of the bolt, that's a quarter of an inch. And the string, if we're read correctly, should be 1 16th of an inch past the end of the bolt, which it is. And then to check the switch, the switch is supposed to actuate at 1 8th inch past over center. And uh, this switch here is not rigged correctly. This is the way it came in to the shop, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so 8th inch past over center would have the switch click when it's right about there on the bolt, which is about an 8th inch down from that string. So as I push the, the drag strut up and bring it down, you may be able to hear the switch click. Oh, I didn't hear it that time. Right there. The switch is clicking right there. And you can see that's eighth inch from the end of the bolt, but in the wrong direction. It should be clicking right here. Uh, and there's a bunch of reasons for that, uh, but part of that is you have your over center is what puts your gear in the down and lock position. So as the dry, or as the main gear leg is pushed front and back, it's gonna it's gonna want to keep this as long as you keep this drag strut down, uh, it's not gonna allow it to collapse. And then the reason the switch is rigged that way is so that if in the event that this downspring gets weak and this drag strut starts to move as you're taxiing or doing a high power run, if it goes this far, the landing gear motor is supposed to turn on and push this drag strut back out and prevent the gear from collapsing. The way it's rigged now, where the switch comes on here, if it gets that far, this gear will have collapsed and the motor may not be able to push it back over center and prevent the collapse from happening. Um, so it's real important that this be set up correctly, and obviously this is set. Uh, this isn't set correctly at all with respect to the switch. You can see right there is where it's going. So uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.